you guys, Sean T. Phillips here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Take it a guat today, should this come out today, should things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, when it comes to new things that are going to be in stores, there's not a lot of new things coming out today. I think there's like a couple different things and there's some uh, catalog titles coming out today from uh, Mill Creek. So I feel like some of those ones might end up in uh, Best Buy. Other than that though, like new release wise, like I said, bigger things will be in stores. I don't really think there's too much uh, else today. We'll see though, because there was a couple things that came out last Tuesday that I didn't see out in some of the stores and everything too so we'll see if any of that stuff is out today also at the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD blurry and 4k reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys so definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video and also let me know too what you guys thought of the DVDs blurries and 4k's that I reviewed at the end of this video if you guys have seen them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Target we go but yeah, today though, I was out filming yesterday in like this desert area and I, I didn't have the sunscreen. So at some points I was in the sun. So I'm like a little bit like burnt and my face is a little bit, you know, um, sunburned a little bit. That's why it's my face feels like a little bit like more co color to it than normal. My voice is also a little bit blown out yesterday from filming and everything. So yeah, it's a little, little like muddled today from that. But also, if you guys did not see my video uh, last Tuesday, though, and didn't hear the news, this is something I'm so excited about. Uh, I am directing my very first feature film. Uh, this is something that I have wanted to do forever, and it's going to be a, a 90s-style slasher film, the style of Scream, and I know what you did last summer, and I am so excited about it. I've been, like, talking to people on the, on, on the phone about, like, the actors and stuff like that, and it's really cool. I cannot wait till you guys hear about the people that are getting involved in this movie and everything, but it's going to be so exciting. I'm really looking forward to it, and I have, though, and an Indiegogo campaign though up for the movie if you guys haven't seen it yet and there's a whole bunch of different you know perks on the film like there's perks on there you know to um, you know act in the project if you guys are interested in stuff like that it's gonna be shooting out in Los Angeles in May uh, there's also perks on there to be a vlogger in the film which is something that you could film yourself and it's basically like um, talking about the murders in the film and like what had happened and the outcome and everything like that this is basically like these sorority girls getting stalked on campus by a mass killer and that's basically the concept but I'm really excited about doing this I, like I said I cannot wait and I want to say too thanks so much for all of you guys who have been so supportive on there and helping out the project and sharing the campaign everything like that but also on there too though there's a lot of different perks too to pre-order a, um, a blu-ray copy of the film uh, there's perks for a digital copy producer credits all that kind of stuff so if you guys haven't had a chance to yet too like I said definitely check out the link below to find out how you can help the film but like I said I am so excited about this I cannot wait to do this movie and like I said thanks for all of you guys who have been continuing to help the project and like I said sharing it around and all that stuff though but taking a look here though in the front they do have some of the newer things in here from the past couple weeks like you know Monster Hunter uh, that came out last Tuesday this is one I think I'm gonna end up picking up at some point because I really do want to see this one I always like Mila Jovovich and you know I know it's like you know Paul Thomas Anderson you know who was uh, W.S. Anderson you know who was in um you know um directed all the Resident Evil films as well, so I always liked them, and I always loved Event Horizon. I know the, the new Blu-ray of that is coming out soon, so I cannot wait for that. But I always thought that was a super creepy movie, the Event Horizon movie. Uh, but other than that, though, here in the front, I don't see anything else new here, though. See, sometimes, every so often, they just randomly change some things out here on the side, but not looking like anything else uh, new here. Let's see. It is like a Toy Story. I think this might be a newer set here. This Toy Story collection that's like the um, the DVD four pack. I, I don't know if there's a Blu-ray four pack like this, but I, th I believe this is like a different, yeah, 2021. So yeah, it's a newer uh, release of this one with those ones together for $40. Other than that though, I don't see anything else different here, but we'll head over to the actual section though to see what else they have over there though. And over here, though, in the actual section, they have a bunch more of these uh, Disney ones. So this is the one I showed in the front that was the DVD. So this is the Blu-ray 4-pack, which is $55. Then they have these double feature ones here, like The Lion King, the animated and the live action, for $30.49. Uh, Sleeping Beauty and Maleficent here for $25.49. This Aladdin double feature one, $30.49. Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. So yeah, so these are really cool ones in here they have that are new ones. Yeah, but in there, though, I ended up deciding to get the uh, Monster Hunter 4K. I, I thought about waiting, but I'm like, I'll just get this one. I really did want to watch this, so I ended up getting that one in there because it was only, you know, the $3 more than the regular uh, Blu-ray of this one. I also got a whole bunch of this coffee stuff for my brother and everything, so that's what I'm getting as well. And I was at the one Best Buy that I'm going to go to uh, later uh, last Tuesday, and I'm uh, not last Tuesday, uh, a couple on the, over the weekend, and they had not put out any new releases at all. I haven't seen that in a long time there. 
So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna end up going to that Best Buy or not. I might go to a different one, I'm not sure, because like I said, last Tuesday, nothing was out, and, I, and since there's probably nothing, not a lot of new things today, I don't know if they would've changed anything. Uh, so I might, like I said, I might go to the different one. But first though, we're gonna head over to the Walmart out here. And you know, this one quite often doesn't have a lot of stuff out either, but we'll see, you know, we'll see if they have anything uh, new out or the last week's stuff out and stuff like that. But we're gonna head over to Walmart though. Into Walmart we go. But we're gonna head back there. I have not peeked yet or anything, so I don't know. I don't know. You can usually like, when you come from this angle and you peek, you kind of have a good idea on what's happened. So yeah, see look, I'm peeking. I see a couple things new out there, but look, this is how it always is. Like this real picked over, empty. And if you guys have seen the videos, you always know it's like always like this. But every so often you see this, at least at this location, some stuff put out in here. So like looking at like what's new here, the only things that's new that I see out uh, was this one, it's in the wrong spot, but this one called uh, Crazy Samurai. 400 versus one uh, this one was I, I, I'm pretty sure this one was today and then I believe this was today as well this one here called Snow Queen uh, Mirrors Land uh, this one other than that though like, like I said like the stuff from last week like Monster Hunter they don't have that out here uh, I don't know what what is this one folk art something like Victor F oh that's it, the TV series let's see Royal Rumble, Rumble Half Brothers yeah so a lot of the stuff from last week is not out and then over here on the side Let's see, 400 bullets. Yeah, so this is where it's supposed to be, the uh, Snow Queen. So that could have been last week. I don't know for sure, but I, I, I know I didn't see it in the stores I was in last week. Let's take a look down around the side here, just to see if there's anything else mixed in here. But in the actual section though, as you can see, like it's real empty and everything in there. So that's sort of <laughs> how it is in, in this one a lot. But we'll head to another one though, and see if um, any of them have anything else. Uh, different or anything but like I said in in here in this actual area I don't see anything randomly mixed in because every so often sometimes there's things randomly put in here that are new uh, and you have to just kind of look the way they put them and everything but no I don't see even anything random in here or anything like that so yeah but we'll, we'll definitely head to another Walmart and hopefully there have some of the other stuff from last week though into the second Walmart we go yeah, well, in here, though, when it comes to the new releases, though, all I see is some of the stuff that I didn't see last Tuesday. Like, I don't see anything new. Where they don't even have Monster Hunter, but they have some stuff like Before I'm Dead here for $9.99 on DVD. Uh, this one, Lily is here, the fight to the unite the family. Uh, this one for $9.99. Uh, don't Shoot the Messenger. And then the only other one I see down here is this one called Driver. But other than that, though, that's all the, uh, the ones that I see in here. Because in the actual section here, I didn't see anything else, you know, new mixed in or anything like that. I look through here and seems to be all the same things like I was saying no monster hunter or any of those ones are out in here as far as I can tell though so yeah that seems to be all the only different things that I see here though into Best Buy we go but yeah you know when it comes to Walmart though like, I'm not letting it you know um bother me anymore do you know what I mean like when they don't have the new movies out because it seems like it's sort of like an ongoing thing now and then every so often they start having this stuff out and some locations are better than others and it's so weird though because once you find one location that does have the stuff out you go the next week and then that one changes and they don't anymore so it's so hard to figure it out and stuff like that but it's just so weird like you would think like something like Monster Hunter which is like a really big release that they would have had at least on there by now a week later but no no but like I said we're gonna head into Best Buy now and hopefully we'll find something uh, new and everything. Yeah, but in here though, I looked over there in the actual front and I didn't see Monster Hunter there either. So it's so funny that this location didn't have it and the one Best Buy was at uh, last uh, weekend, you know, over the weekend I didn't see it either out. But in here though, new release wise though, they do have a couple things in here. I think this was today, this 400 bullets here, uh, which is from Shout Factory and that one's $16.99. Also though, this one here, Renapal, this one was great. This was like one I would highly recommend you guys check it out about this guy who gets this like, this tape in this store. It's like a VHS tape of like, like basically like buy a friend on this this tape and you like and it's you know um will wheaton on the guy on the videotape and basically this guy becomes obsessed with the videotape and like starts talking to will wheaton through the video and like it's like so strange it's such a trippy 
amazing movie though. It's one of those ones you guys have got to watch. I really love that one. This was last week, Power of the Complete series here. Other than that though, I don't see anything else different here though, because all these other ones were last Tuesday, like Scare Me was last Tuesday. I believe this one was last Tuesday here. Uh, but other than that, like I said, I don't see anything else different here though. But anyway, well guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And also though, let me know in the comments below, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, if you guys ended up picking up anything new today. Also, let me know as well anything new that you guys have watched on streaming. Any new TV shows or any new movies or anything like that you guys have checked out lately. And also as well, be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. You know, if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. And also too, like I said, if you haven't had a chance to, Definitely check out the um, Indiegogo campaign for the first slasher film, the first feature film that I'm directing. Like I said, I am so excited about this. And like I said, there, the Indiegogo campaign is below and you guys can pre-order a copy on Blu-ray. There's acting perks, all kinds of different stuff, you know, ways to help the project and everything. And like I said, thanks so much guys for the help. I appreciate it beyond words and everything. There's a guy in there like doing something with the truck or I do not know what. But anyway though guys, now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. And the first one I got here is from Lionsgate. It's a movie here called Don't Tell a Soul. This one, I absolutely love this movie. This one gets a top recommendation. Uh, this one is basically, though, about these two brothers who are out, you know, in the woods. And there's a house out there that's being tented because it has termites and stuff like that. So if, like, a house has termites, they put, like, a whole tent all over the whole house and everything. And then they spray it with all the chemicals and everything. And basically, though, uh, the one kid, though, he ends up going inside there because he's trying to find this money. So he has, like, a gas mask and everything. And he goes in there and finds this, like, um container with all this money in it and right when they're leaving where the tent was uh they see rain wilson's character and he's like the security guard who's like patrolling the area and everything and basically he starts running after them chasing them saying get back here what are you kids doing out here and what ends up happening though is he ends up falling uh you know as he's chasing behind them he falls down into this like hole in the ground this gig gigantic well out in the middle of the woods so basically he falls down there and gets trapped down there and it's basically though about the one brother who's the younger brother and he's like saying to his older brother and what's cool too is both the kids were in the um the film the you know the new it film so that was really cool seeing them both in here together the one was like one of the main kids and the other one was the uh bully in the it film so it was cool to see them together and hear his brothers but basically though uh you know when though you know the one kid is saying to his brother you know i'm worried about him i think he could be in there do you think he's okay basically he goes back and checks on him and he's down the hole in the ground and it becomes this whole big thing on what are they going to do and the older older brothers telling them you know don't say anything we're going to get in big trouble we're going to lose the money we need this money and you know and their mom is played by Mina Savardi and her character in here is really sick and she's basically trying to kind of like not really aware of what's going on with her kids and everything but this is a great movie this one like the whole idea of this one was really cool it like has this intense build up as this goes along there's some interesting like you know developments in this movie that you're not expecting this one has on here though a feature on the making of the on the film but like i said this one is definitely an absolute must watch uh, the next one here is from lionsgate as well it's a movie here which stars natasha hendrix here called a uh, hero dog and this is basically though about this uh, this man who ended up having an accident and ended up becoming blind and basically though he ends up you know um going to he takes something what ends up happening though is he ends up you know um you know, he's on this boat. Basically, he's going to see his family, to see his two kids and his sister that he hasn't seen in a long time. And he's going to visit them. What ends up happening, though, is when he's on the boat, the, um, the guy who's driving the boat, which was cool. I remember the, the actor who's driving the boat is like a character actor who was in all sorts of stuff, like a lot of Canadian productions and everything. And he was also in the My Pet Monster live action, which I always loved as a kid. So I always, rem I always recognize him from that. But he's been in everything for years. But he's in here as the the captain of the boat. And what ends up happening, though, is he ends up having a heart attack. Uh, you know, and basically what ends up happening, though, is the boat ends up, like, you know, getting onto this island. And the man, like I said, who is blind, he basically has to figure out, and he's there with his dog, how to survive on this island, what he's going to do, and how he's going to get rescued and everything. It's a really, really intense uh, movie. It was really, really well done. Uh, this one has on here, though, feature-wise, it has cast interviews, as well as interview on here with the guest director, Aaron Pitt, as well as a uh, trailer gallery on 
on this one. The next one here is from Paramount, and this is a really cool uh, set here. I want to let you guys know this one was available. This is the, um, the the series here, The Legend of Korra, and this is the Nickelodeon uh, you know series here. But this is a and this is the follow-up series to Avatar: Last Airbender. So this one came after that series. But this here though is it has it's a steelbook collection. So all of the seasons here of the show are in these steelbooks. I'm going to show you guys a closer look at these ones. But on here though, uh, feature-wise, this has on here audio commentaries on here, a uh, creator's favorite scenes, animatics, kindred spirits, uh, Tenzin's family, inside the book of spirits, uh, retelling of the chorus of journey. So a lot of different featurettes on here. It has New York Comic Con panel featurette here, uh, the making of the legend, uh, the untold story. So lots of different features here on this set. And I'm going to show you guys though a look inside here at everything. So the discs all are in here. It has like dividers in here between them for all the discs. And I'll show you guys a look at each of the steel books. The first one here, and each of them says on the side, so it's book one, uh, air, and then you see here's the um, look here at the front, and here's a look though, and then inside of here, here's a look though inside the disc. So then it's so it's book one here, and that one is air, and then um, book um, two here, this one is a uh, spirits. So this is book two is spirits, and then here's a look though inside, and then uh, this one here was book three, and this book three was. Um, you know, uh, cha uh, was a uh, change, and they and they have like cool like reflections too in here to how it reflects with like uh, around the leg and everything. It's really cool the, the way these ones are designed. And then the last one here, this is um book uh, four four here, and book four is uh, balance. And here's a look though here at the back as well for this one but really really cool uh, steelbook collection and like I said if you guys were a fan of the show one of the you guys know this one is available and it's the complete steelbook collection here of the series The Legend of Korra here uh, from Paramount the next one here is from um, Paramount as well and this is the um, complete series of the show uh, Wonder Chosen and this is a show this one aired from uh, 2005 2006 I remember this really well uh, back in the day it was fun watching this again I remember really liking this one this was originally on it's kind of like in the style uh, they had a show too called TV Funhouse. Was it TV Funhouse? I think that was what it. No, I don't know if it was. T I think so. There was like a weird like um, host on the show, and it was kind of in the style of this one. Uh, it was also in the style of like uh, Andy Monaka's kind of humor. If you guys like that type of humor, and it's basically though like a deranged kid show, like a like Sesame Street, uh, the Muppets, that type of a thing. More like mainly on the like, Sesame Street kind of vibe, but that's like these really weird like. Uh, puppets that are like really inappropriate and there's all these crazy skits and stuff like kids in the street interviewing people asking weird questions and all this kind of stuff I always like that stuff when it's like asking people questions on the street and it's like weird questions and like Billy on the street was like that and of course Tom Green was like that but this is a really fun show really really over the top and ridiculous crazy humor but this has all the um you know all the episodes here all 16 episodes of the series on four discs and it has on here though Clarence and the beat and the Beat Kids outtakes, uh, commentaries on here, uh, DVD exclusive beat featurettes, exclusive annoying um, games on here, auditions and outtakes, special guest commentaries on here. So lots and lots of features on here, but a really, really fun series. Uh, the next one here, this is from uh, uh, Kino Larber, and this is a collection here. This is the uh, films of Morris Engel and Ruth Arkin, and this is the Little Fugitive uh, set here. This is a three disc set. And Little Fugitive, I remember watching that movie years years back and it's a fun movie about this kid who ends up you know with his brother uh, and his brother's friends they like go to Coney Island and like they have to bring him along because the mother has to go out for the day and the kid can't stay at home so the kid comes along with him to Coney Island it's just this really fun uh, thing of him just going to Coney Island like playing the games all that kind of stuff and I don't know if any of you guys are the same way I, I doubt for many people have seen this movie but every time I think of uh, Coney Island I always think of this weird movie called um, Carnival of Blood and it's not the one with the actor from um, Fantasy Island. It was one that was like something weird video released years back. But it was just such a weird movie filmed at Coney Island. I always remember that one really well. But this is a really fun uh, film. But it also has on here, though, like I said, it has Little Fugitive. It has um, Lovers and Lollipops on here, which was um, from 1956. Uh, Little Fugitive was from 1953. It also has Wedding and Babies which was from 1958. Uh, I Need a Ride to California from 1968. But it also has on here a commentary track on here from the director on Little Fugitive. Fugitive. It has Morris Engel, the independent documentary on here. 
Uh, it has a um, uh, two, two different documentaries on here. It has two short films on here, uh, three television commercials on here, directed by Morris Engel. Uh, Morris Engel home videos on here. So lots of features on here. Really, really great uh, set here. Uh, the other one here from Kino Larber is one here called Days of the Bangled Summer. And this is a fun movie. This is basically about this kid who, uh, you know, who has to stay with his uh, mother during the summer. And originally he was going to be going to see his father over the summer. And it was like he had all these big plans and all this kind of stuff. I think he was like going to be going to Florida or something like that. But then like the father ended up like canceling on him. So then he ends up having to stay with his mother. So it's basically like him and his mother for the summer. And they kind of have like stuff where they kind of just have disagreements and don't get along. So it's kind of like this coming of age movie about both of them together. And then the mother starts seeing this guy. And then like the kid, he doesn't like this guy and all this kind of stuff. And what's cool too is um all the music in here is from Bell and Sebastian. And I, I feel like this is like, you know, because they did most of the stuff in here for the music. I feel like the only other movie that I can think of where they did like all the music in there or like most of the music. Because in this one, there's not everything of, is theirs, but they did all, for the most part, all the music was uh, the movie Storytelling, the Todd Sondes movie. Other than that, though, I don't know if they did where they did like the soundtrack for a full movie or not before other than that one. But this was definitely a really, really fun movie. Like I said, this one here is called Days of the Bangled uh, Summer. And the next one I got here is from Gravitas Ventures, and it's a documentary here called Same Sex Attracted. This is a really well done documentary. It's basically though about you know following students who go to BYU University. I believe it's is it Brighton University? I believe it's BYU, which is the you know Mormon University. And basically though, it's about the students who go to that school who are gay, and it's kind of like following and talking to them because at the at that university though they don't. They have all these, these strict rules and stuff like that since it's a Mormon university and saying like, you know, you can't act upon if you're gay and all these different types of things. And it's kind of like showing how it's like what it's like to go to that school and kind of what the rules are like. And then like the uh, the, the programs of the, the, you know, the students who are, you know, the LGBTQ uh, community, like students that are there having like meetings together that are not sanctioned by the school. So it's just it's basically, though, all about what it's like to go to that school and if you're LGBTQ. LGBTQ. And it's it's an interesting documentary. It's kind of like, you know, it's stuff you would expect that the, the way that people, you know, uh, with being a, a Mormon university and everything with the rules and everything. But it's a really, really well done documentary here. Like I said, this one here is called Same Sex Attracted. Uh, the next one's here. Uh, these ones are both from Indican Pictures. And this is a movie here called Abandoned uh, Angelique's Island. This is a really intense movie. This is basically, though, this is also inspired by true events. This is basically, though, this was set during 1844. And it's basically though about this couple that had just gotten married, and they end up going uh, to look for was it was looking for copper, and basically there's like a um, uh, you know going on the boat expedition to go and look for copper. What ends up happening though is they end up getting to the area and finding this huge like um, like nugget that, of copper and everything. When, when they get there, and it's kind of like well they don't know how they're going to move it. So they, the people on the boat are saying to the couple though, if you guys st you know you guys can stay here, watch it, we'll be back, don't worry and everything. And it's one of those things where you know. No, them leaving them there is not a good thing and it's basically what ends up happening is them on the island and trying to figure out how they're going to survive there and of course it goes through like the winter season so it becomes this whole absolute nightmare situation of what they go through but this is a really really well done uh, character piece film about you know following them through the struggle of you know the winter and all this stuff and then the people that left and what will happen with all of that but really really well done uh, movie here and the next one I got here is from Indican Pictures as well. It's a movie here called Tomato Red Blood Money. Uh, this one stars uh, Julia Garner. And this is basically, though, about the, this, you know, these people who are going through, like, basically drifting through the town and everything. It's, but it's basically about this guy who ends up, like, breaking into this one house to try and, you know, this, like, you know, mansion to try and steal this money. And he meets these two people in there, you know, that, you know, he believes, you know, live at this place. And, and he comes to find out, though, that they were actually squatting in this house and they were, like, hiding out in this house as well and it's kind of like though the guy meets the girl though and starts to really like her and it's kind of like he kind of gets linked up with her and it's kind of like about like the decisions that they're making and they're like not the greatest decisions with you know with theft and all these type of things and like 
the person that the redhead is with and everything that he, you know, he kind of has his own views on what they need to be doing and all that kind of stuff. But it is a really, uh, you know, well done character drama here. Like I said, this one here is called Tomato Red uh, Blood Money. And the last one here, this is from uh, PBS. And this is a, um, you know, a collection here. This includes 30 classic episodes from 1978 to 2000. This is Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, uh, Mr. Rogers Meets uh, New Friends collection here. And this is, you know, um, like I said, this one has on here, though, four, over 14 hours on four discs. So the 14 hours of Mr. Rogers episodes on here. And this, you know, Mr. Rogers is a show that as a kid, I remember, like, you know, this, uh, when it came to, like, shows about, like, um, going on, like, adventures and going to different places and stuff like that, I used to watch this, and I used to watch Reading Rainbow and then Pee Wee. But Pee Wee was much more, like, over the top and funny, like, on, like a parody on things. But I would watch, you know, uh, Mr. Rogers all the time and Reading Rainbow. Like, those are, like, the top ones that I watched. Because I, I always liked stuff about people going to different locations, going to restaurants, and filming things like that. I always loved that kind of stuff. So even as a kid, I loved those type of things. I used to love watching uh, Terrific Trips. I don't know if any of you guys would ever remember that, but there was some, uh, Fisher Price had it. There was a series called Terrific Trips, and they would go to, like, to the zoo, a theme park, like magic shows. Someday, I hope somebody will put those out on DVD, which would be kind of cool, like a real like nostalgia thing that only certain people w would remember. But really great collection here. If you guys, just, as I said, are a fan of the Mr. Mr. Rogers, this has 30 episodes here, all from 19. 70 uh, to uh, nine to nine and to, to 2000. This is basically though has also has on here though a bonus episode with a visit from Bill Nye the Science Guy. But anyway though guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.